what you want to do is you want to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be going over how you get your appointments, how long it takes, what you do, all of, all of the things that Wei Fong had to do to get her appointment and go through all of these tests at the hospital here in Nanning, China. Welcome to another video from Guilao Sesti. What should you do when there's a COVID crisis in a country like China? Go hang out at the hospital. That's exactly what we're doing today. Uh, Wei Fong has a six month cancer checkup. So she needs CT scans and blood work and whatever. So uh, even, even though there is a COVID in Nanning, that doesn't stop us. We just go and do our, our stuff anyway. And as you can tell, in the hospital, because of the COVID, there's hardly anybody here, which is because uh, everybody's scared. Ooh, blood bloodletting place. Gotta love that, eh? So she goes and gets a ticket to uh, get her blood taken, and uh, she gets number 67. So there's 67 people in front of her. Say that again. 67 people waiting. You think that that's going to take a long time? Probably about 10 minutes. So uh, she's off to make another appointment for a CT scan. You betcha. So let's go in here and check this out. One of the really neat things I, I notice about going to a hospital here in China is these machines here. You don't have to uh, you don't have to go see a doctor to get the results from your tests. You just print them out on a machine. You've got a little card that has all your information, who you are, and whatever. You just swipe it. These machines kick out a piece of paper that tells you might not know what it what it means, but it, but at least you have a piece of paper with all your tests on it. Another thing I'd like to bring to your attention. Uh, blood tests, ultrasound, CT scan, and bone scan. 2,545 RMB, so about 500 bucks Canadian or about 400 bucks American for all of these. So when you're looking at your, your Western healthcare system and what they charge you, <laughs> getting overcharged big time. 500 bucks Canadian, guys, for a six month cancer checkup here in mainland China. Go figure. One of the things you'll notice really quickly at the hospitals here in China is it's not as luxurious. as it is in the West, but it is more efficient. So I guess they give up luxury for efficiency. It's just one of those things. It's up to each individual to go get their own uh, appointments at these different tests. So that's what Wei Fong is doing right now. She, she's waiting to uh, get an appointment for her CT scan and her bone scan. And uh, I'm out walking around with a camera in my face. It's what I do. And getting some B-roll so you people can actually see what hospitals here in China actually look like. They are a little bit of a, a, a muddle with vehicles and people because there's always lots of people here. Eh? It's just one of those things. But uh, when, when, you're, when you're at the hospital in China, you can expect hordes and hordes of people. There's so many people for the number of hospitals that they have. They've, uh, they've gotten better hospitals. They've built bigger hospitals. But with the, with the number of people, it's still just not enough. They need more. And during this video, I'd like to dispel all of the, the rumors that there's COVID-19 everywhere in China. And the Chinese government is covering it up. It's the, that's just bullshit, guys. If there was all of that and more, in China, hospitals like this would be overrun with the number of people that they have in a place like Nanning or Guangzhou, Beijing, you know what I mean. They, they would just, it would just be, uh, it would be mass hysteria because the, that's just the way it is. So uh, for all of those people that think that uh, there's COVID everywhere in China, uh, no, that's a, that's a vicious rumor put on by mainstream media, uh, conspiracy theory, uh, theorists, and, and uh, just plain stupid people. 
and see behind me, these are the machines I'm talking about, where you go get your test done, and because you've got a little card that knows who you are, you come to these machines, and they'll print out all of uh, the tests that you've had. So you've got, the, got these tests, and they put them outside the hospital, so now you don't even have to go inside the hospital to, to get it. That's probably a, a preventive measure for COVID-19. We should do that in the West, yeah, so you don't have to go and see your doctor. You know what I mean? You can get the test, you could, and, and the thing is that uh, you don't even have to go see the doctor. You can, uh, you can text them, telephone them, whatever. Well, we're back here on, uh, this, is, this is day three, I guess. Uh, Wei Fong got on her telephone and made her cell phone, went on the internet and made an appointment to see a doctor here at the hospital. And that was on Monday. Okay, and uh, so she, she, made, she made the appointment on Monday for Tuesday with an oncologist. Yes, it's that simple. They give you the ex exact time that you, that you come and you see the, the doctor, and, uh, and you come and see the doctor. Okay, that didn't cost anything. Or maybe it did, I, don't, I never asked her, but even if it did, it cost like maybe five or 10 RMB. Then when you get, come and see the doctor, the doctor says, okay, you need this test, this test, this test, and this test. So what he does is he plugs it into his computer and uh, out, out spits the, the pieces of paper that you take to get your uh, appointments around the hospital area, except for this CT scan. The CT scan, they give you the appointment as the doctor is doing it. All right, and with that, it comes out uh, your invoice. And you go over to the little reception area and you pay your invoice of, what, what was it, 2,445 or 2,545 RMB for her full cancer uh, checkup this year. All right, so then she heads over to get her blood taken and she gets number 67, as you saw in the, in the video. 67 people go through and get their blood taken before her 66. Took 10 minutes. 10 minutes to, uh, to get her blood done. All right. In the meantime, she went over to the ultrasound area and she uh, uh, got a number. I think it was uh, 217. I'm not sure what they were at. I think they were at about 150. About a half an hour later, you got her. She was in taking her ultrasound. Okay, and that was all done on Tuesday when we came in. But, uh, and then she heads over to the bone scan uh, area and they give her an appointment for yesterday, which was, which was Wednesday. And she comes in and she does her bone scan and, and uh, they say you can't do the bone scan and the CT scan on the same day. So, well, but the CT scan was today and today is Thursday. And so we're here today to get the CT scans done and she's scheduled in 45 minutes to get that done. So you see that you, you, you book online, you come see the doctor, the doctor sets it up, you, you go pay for it, you go to all of these appointments, and uh, from the start, from booking it on Monday, to Thursday at, it's quarter after 11, she's scheduled at 12 o'clock noon. You got her. Uh, you, you go see a specialist oncologist, booked on Monday, you go see him on Tuesday. You. Uh, you go take your blood tests and, you, and your ultrasound on Tuesday. You uh, come back on Wednesday and get your bone scans done. You come back on Thursday and get your CT scan done. And all of this gets pumped out on one of those little machines I showed you. So all, all of the rest of the stuff is already done and, and pumped out on the machines, but the CT scan will come out tomorrow. So you got about a 24 hour lag on that. So the thing is that, uh, Monday, you, uh, from Monday to Thursday, you get it all done for 500 bucks Canadian. So, you know, the idea that the Chinese system is so efficient that way, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite amazed with it, you know. We've been through this. This is uh, the, th the third time that we've done this here in China. And, I've, and I'm amazed each and every time at how efficient they are. That said, you lose a little bit of the humanity. I, I, I understand that. I've heard that from not only Chinese people that know the Western medical system, but also from Westerners that have come and used the medical system here in China, that uh, yes, they lose some humanity, they're going through so many people, you become a number, but uh, 
it's just the way the system is. Anyway, there you go. And that's another video at the University Hospital here in Nanning, China. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. Don't forget to wear your mask. And never forget to put a couple of bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Thanks for watching. Bye now.